Alright guys, so I'm making Zupa Toscana soup from Olive Garden today and I have been wanting to film this, uh, you know, do an official cooking video for it, but I just don't have the time. So I'm just going to show you briefly what I'm doing. Um, so I, what I did first was I browned some sausage, um, just some regular hot Italian sausage, um, and I put it to the side. And now I'm browning up some bacon and it's all ready and you, all, there's all these bits from the sausage and everything on the side of the pan. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take some um, chicken broth and I'm just going to put a little bit in. Woo! I'm, I just put a little bit in and I'm just, just so I can scrape up the sides and get everything incorporated. Here, let me wipe off the steam here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, now I've got everything mixed together, scrape off the sides, basically deglaze the pan. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some sliced up potatoes with the skin on. All right, still got a few more potatoes here. It's hard to do this one-handed. I've actually dropped a potato. <sighs> All right, so there's the potatoes. I'm actually going to add some more. I need to cut up some more, but I was running out of room on my cutting board. So what I'm going to do is add the remainder of this chicken broth. Try to get the sides if I can, just to get all that, all that off there. So I'm just going to basically cover my potatoes with this. Now, if it's if all your potatoes aren't covered, actually, you know, I'm probably not going to put more potatoes in. Now that I'm looking at it, I've got a lot of potatoes here. If your potatoes aren't completely covered, you can add a little bit of water. And what I'll probably do is just put a little bit of water inside of here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I put a little bit of water in here so I can so it can get any remainder of the uh, chicken broth that's left in the inside of here. And I'm going to fill it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this come to a boil. Once it's, it starts boiling um, and, the tater, and the potatoes become tender, I'm going to then add my um, meat back in, my sausage. And then I'm going to add, I think it's about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Um, and then I stir that in. And I don't know, it might be more than a half a cup. I'll put all that information in the description box below for you. Um, but I add the heavy whipping cream, and then I'm also going to have, in the meantime, chopped up and prepared some kale, put it, cut up some kale into, into small bite-sized pieces. And then I'm going to add that in, into here and let that just wilt down a little bit, and then it's ready to serve, and that's all there is to it. It's my favorite soup. Hope this was helpful. Bye, guys.